Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. So first question I have to ask, we, or maybe not say we, I was first introduced to you on 3.33 a.m. You were self-producing, uploading songs. You produced to SoundCloud, and now you're nominated for Best Engineered Album at the Grammys next year, or this year. Can you describe for us that process of getting from producing in your room by yourself to a collaborative pro creative project that you've now released into the world as your debut album? I had always wanted to do music, and then I didn't know in what field or which direction I would go. I just knew that I loved music, and I loved being around it, and so I wanted to be involved. And I think I just tried to rely on collaborating before I did this professionally, just like trying to seek out producers and all of that and didn't really get anywhere in a positive way where I felt like, okay, I can work with this person. I did learn a lot um, about producing through all of those people. They ended up being teachers to me, but I just kind of had this sense where I felt like maybe I could try it out on my own and try to make or finish a song on my own. And kind of one thing led to another, just me being in my bedroom, like, I don't really know how to play instruments well. I just kind of wing it and spend hours on the piano and whatnot and try to come up with chord progressions and stuff. But it just it happened like one day at a time and I didn't really think about it. I just had a collection of songs and was like, let me put it out there into the world and, and uh, see if anyone connects with it. And now we're here. <laughs> you have a really amazing quote you've been using, exploring the universe around you by exploring the universe within you. So can you talk about how that creative process has been for Three Dimensions Deep and the visual album or the visual project that came out with it as well? I mean, it was a very long process. It was four years in the making, that whole album. And the whole album really just deals with this inner insecurities that I think we all kind of go through regardless of what field we're in or what we do. I think we always have those feelings where, you know, we kind of feel low and we question our capabilities and am I good enough? You know, I feel like that's a question that I think we all kind of have on occasion and I knew I wanted to talk about that and then it really took a whole other turn um, in 2020 when the whole y'all remember what happened and <laughs> and um, I just you know I started questioning a lot of things in life and you know shit was going down and so I think I'd always had this like questioning about you know what we were doing floating on a muddy rock in the middle of the universe but I think it really started to hit during that time and I really wanted to write about that and it crazy because it's like that's kind of what the concept of the album ended up being but I had always been doing that just like subconsciously writing about it and, and so I tried to do it in a way that's like not too like this is about astronomy and quantum physics I tried to do it in like a very spiritual way just because from my personal journey and trying to understand the universe which I got no answer but it it I found this connection between science and spirituality or religion or whatever you want to call it, which I feel like a lot of people tend to put those on opposite ends of a spectrum. And for me, I kind of felt like they were really talking about the same things. They were just expressing it in a different way. And that was so beautiful to me because I had been trying to find this connection to whatever the higher being, God, whatever you want to call it. And I think that allowed me to have some more faith in it which is an amazing segue as well, to that spiritual scientific connection that you've made in your album uh, and also to your greater life. Like a lot of people talk to you about grief, but I actually wanted to ask you about your community and support system because you talk about working on your own, but you co-executive produced this album with someone, you co-directed the music videos for it, you filmed your tiny desk at your family's restaurant. Like you are surrounded, or it seems like, by some really amazing people. So how does your community impact your creativity and how does it help you expand beyond music or grief or whatever big questions you have? Well, I mean, yeah, I'm very lucky. I think, you know, I, I, when I lost my mom, I had this great support system around me. You know, I have my, my godparents and my sister. She's not my biological sister, but she's as close as a sister get, gets, you know. And I felt like they have been a part of my life since I was very, very little and have been a very crucial key in raising me and how I was raised and the person that I am today. So I definitely put a lot on them in the sense of like thanking them for who I am today and the music I make. Working on this project was my first experience in working with other producers and writers and you know I kind of did the LA trip thing where you go and you work with a pr new producer a day for a month straight back in like 2017. And 
found one producer, like there was maybe two or three, but one that I really connected with, and his name is Julian Bonetta. And he just became like a brother to me and my music sensei and somebody I could really turn to with all my really dumb questions about making music. He came to me with the idea of doing a writer's camp one year and back in 2019 and I immediately was like, no, I could not do that. That sounds like anxiety, like on 100 for me. But he was like, no, just trust me. It's going to be amazing. And it ended up being such a beautiful experience. And he, One yeah, of those songs came on the album, right? Competition? Yeah, but there's competitions on the foreign things. We got out of that whole retreat. Um, Bliss was on that retreat. That was a song that we wrote all together and it was a beautiful experience. I literally came out of that three-day, four-day retreat, like, emotional, just, like, tearing up listening to the songs because I'd never had sessions with other people collaborating that felt so, first of all, like, you feel so accomplished because you've written all these amazing songs. And then, secondly, just, like, such a happy and enjoyable experience. Like, there was no anxiety, and they're family to me to this day and will forever be. So, yeah. It's nothing like finding your creative family. No, your people. for sure. Uh, <laughs> And now for the past three years, we've more or less been stuck in place. Have you gathered any new influences from the past three years and the standstill that you want to carry forward creatively? Um, well, I think every, everything that I've gathered in terms of like expressing myself creatively and like in a visual standpoint and also sonically, I think I really tried to put in to the album as much as I possibly could. I mean, we were working on the creative till like December of 2021 20, uh, and the album came out in January. So I think all the things I really took in from the past few years and, and all of that, it's, it, I have gone down a very like, sounds super hippy dippy and like I was smoking a lot of weed so that's probably why, but but I, I, <laughs> I, I really went down this like very like metaphysical and like philosophical rabbit hole and just like into like the whole like physics realm. And I think I tried to like really incorporate that into my music. And I still think like I'm still there, like I'm still trying to incorporate that and I'm still trying to learn more because I'm just starting to write again now for the next project. And it's like, I feel like I'm just in this, um, I've opened the door to like this very big blank room of just like whiteness and I don't know like what how am I going to paint it like how am I gonna that's kind of what I'm figuring out this year so I don't really know what I've learned this year I don't have any good advice <laughs> <laughs> no advice necessary you being yourself is the best advice Amber. thank you uh, but no seriously I mentioned the short film that you did you also did a three-part docuseries talking about the album and it seems like you got a lot of ideas cooking up there with galaxies and dimensions and oh my so what do you see as your creative vision in the next few years. I always try to incorporate my mother one way or another into my music. So I think, you know, she'll always be around somehow. Um, I really, I think, again, I think I'm gonna probably, I'll probably... What Collab liked, with Neil deGrasse Tyson? <laughs> maybe he'll be a feature, you never know. <laughs> 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 um, maybe, who knows, no. Um, but, but, I don't know. He does have a nice voice now that we're th talking about it. I'm just <laughs> like, that is not a bad idea. <laughs> I don't know if you've listened to him on a podcast, but it's actually really soothing. Um, but, but yeah, so I think I'll probably, you know, dive more into that little direction of like this weird science spirituality direction that I've gone. But it's always hard for me to kind of say like where I'm going to go creatively because it's not like when I'm, you know, wouldn't. I started making Three Dimensions Deep, which I didn't know was Three Dimensions Deep when I started making it. I had no idea what I was making. I was just like writing about what I was going through right here, right now. I don't really know like where I'm gonna go creatively or what the project will be or in that sense um, until it's like, okay, time to put out the album. What's it gonna be called and stuff. <laughs> but I, I do know that I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna go very concept heavy like I did with the, the last project. I just, I knew I wanted my first album to be very like, this is a story and we're taking you on it and this, there's, here's the concept. But I think for the next one, I just want it to feel very free and fun. And so I know that. Nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for speaking Thank with me. Thank you for me. having me. Um, Amber Mark, yes, everyone, who will be performing <laughs> later. Come check it out. <laughs> <laughs>